Hey guys, how are you? This is Anya. Oil is the name of Yeshua. I have a message from you for you guys, brothers and sisters, um, particularly to those of you who are Jewish. And I want to, I will be posting a message directly from Heavenly Holy Father. I recorded it already. I know what he's uh, said, but uh, I also sense um, it's not only urgency, but a certain level of um, urgency, concern, and how can I say this? It wasn't anger, it was love, but it was a stern message to the Jewish brothers and sisters who are still today listening to fables um, of the Pharisees, um, you know, ready scribes, just like who are still denying today the crucifixion of our beloved Messiah Yeshua HaMashiach and who have Heavenly Holy Father has revealed to me last night have created a certain type of ritual to introduce Yeshua as a Mashiach um, into the Kabbalah religion of uh, type of Judaism, Kabbalistic Judaism I guess one may call praise be to Yeshua Jesus for revealing the truth but the message was against that, that everybody has to be responsible for their own soul, for their own spirit. And then we have to, brothers and sisters, overall help and assist one another um, as Christian brothers and sisters who already are saved, who have repented of their sins, who ask for the seal of the Holy Spirit. And we, of course, thank you, Jesus, we have received it. We want to make sure that our Jewish brothers and sisters have the same chance at hearing the message um, at uh, understanding what, who Yeshua is, was then and is still today. He is the God of this earth. He's the word of God, the word of Yahweh, um, the great I am, the beginning and an end. As Abba Father, Holy Father, he commanded us to call him under new covenant, is God the creator of all. Yeshua HaMashiach is the light, the star, the starlight, the dew. He is the word of Yahweh, the Prince of Peace, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings, the, uh, ha the high priest after the order of Melchizedek. And he has proclaimed, proclaimed the gospel, the new covenant as a Jew to the Jews first. We must remember that Greek brothers and sisters, us Gentiles, we cannot forget that we as um, Gentiles, we were grafted in onto, you know, the, the Jews. And for example, now I'm starting a new topic, just heads up. This is not going to be a long message. We, those of us, if you are thinking rapture, guys, I just want to bring your attention to one important fact that Yeshua HaMashiach has showed me and continues on showing me. And one of those things is, brothers and sisters, a topic that if Gentiles are grafted in, right, and we are grafted in, then if we are grafted in onto what? Onto the original branches. If we are grafted in onto the original branches, then please understand. Please understand. Jesus Yeshua is the vine. We are the branches, right? Abba Father, Holy Father, praise and glory and honor be to Yahweh, praise and glory and honor be to Yeshua HaMashiach, the word of Yahweh, His only begotten Son of Yahweh, whom is our Savior and our Mashiach, meaning the Messiah. In order to receive the Holy Spirit seal upon our foreheads, right? Whether Jew or Gentile, there's no difference in the end of days spiritually as of 2,000 years ago, because that new covenant was offered to the Jewish brethren first and then to Gentiles second. What is Gentile today? Is all the mixture of all the tribes back in the day that were, that were scattered by the, the Father himself, the Creator, Abba Father, the Creator, through Yeshua, the Word of Yahweh, all over the world, because Israel was, Abba Father divorced Israel, because they were idolatrous Israel then, and they disobeyed the father they 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 refused to worship him in a way he wanted to be worshiped they refused to open up their hearts onto the father uh, the, uh, you know there was they refused to listen to the prophets the true prophets of our heavenly holy father as they refused to listen to the prophets today just as a lot of our gentile brothers and sisters 
let's be honest, they refuse to listen to the true teachers, prophets of Abba Father today. Yes, teacher is one, Messiah is one, and Rabbi is one. There is only Yeshua HaMashiach, and no one else technically can have this title. Yeshua was teaching us on that. But we know that we are in the end of days, brothers and sisters. Praise be to Jesus for revealing the truth to us and for coming and having enough mercy and love for every single one of us that he has nudged on us so much so, and he caused our lives to, some of our lives were turned out upside down, just so your soul, your spirit, and then your human flesh are our human flesh, soul, spirits, can be saved by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of Yeshua Mashiach, a spotless Lamb who died on a cross <clears throat> for our sins and the sins of the world. And just the same as, as, as you were saved, I was saved. We want it. Yeshua wants the Jews to be saved also, brothers and sisters. And I want you to understand, guys, that we have to remember that we were grafted in onto the original branches and we cannot forget that we are the gentiles grafted in onto the vine which is jesus yeshua mashiach who has the branches which are the jews we were grafted in onto those branches so if when we were grafted in and now we're growing, so to speak, together spiritually, right? Literally, spiritually, we are, we are growing together already. Did you know that? Through the Holy Spirit. And that we will be united soon in the wilderness uh, to worship Yeshua HaMashiach upon, as he will be conducting judgments all over the world against any and all wickedness and evil. So as we are about to preparing... As the world is preparing to hear from the two witnesses, brothers and sisters, I need you to understand that the time is truly short. And as the enemy is targeting the true prophets of Yahweh, a true believers, followers of Christ Jesus, as the devil is making stupid, dumb remarks that are just, you know, it would... It, not only that the Holy Spirit is grieved by, by, by some of our brothers and sisters, and not only the Gentiles, but also the Jews who refuse to repent of their sins the way Yeshua commanded. They want to do what they want to do, and particularly those in Kabbalah. And Yeshua uh, is basically saying straight up, mm -mm. you will not do what you want to do. If you want to, the Jesus that they teach you in Kabbalah uh, is still in hell. The Jews never killed him, never G killed our Messiah, Yeshua Mashiach, which of course was first and foremost our Heavenly Holy Father's plan that was fulfilled. And of course, the book of Isaiah specifically states that. So we need to be happy, Jewish brothers and sisters, that this was fulfilled, that our Heavenly Holy Father is God, is His Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, the only begotten Son of Yahweh, I praise you, Yahweh, hallelujah, kept His word and did return 2,000 years ago to offer the covenant to the Jews first and then to second to the Gentiles. So please, Jewish brothers and sisters, repent of your sins. And ask for the free gift of grace, which is a gift of the free gift of grace, a gift of the Holy Spirit, a gift of the Ru, Ruach HaKodesh, in Hebrew, Holy Spirit. So that the Holy Spirit seal can be upon your forehead, so you no longer will be subject to Abba Father, to God's wrath, to Yahweh's wrath. Hallelujah. Kiss the Son while you can, lest He be angry. And remember, brothers and sisters, that... The serpent is extremely hateful and bitter. And the serpent comes to kill, steal, and destroy. I'm talking about the devil and his kingdom. But when you have that seal upon your forehead, he cannot, the devil cannot ask to touch you. The enemy cannot ask to touch you. Yeshua Jesus was teaching us that under new covenant and many, many other our spiritual rights under the new covenant to whomever joins the covenant. And this covenant from our Heavenly Holy Father, God the Creator of all things seen and unseen, including the new earth. Yes, there's new earth. Yes, there's going to be new Jerusalem coming down in second heaven. There will be about 2,000, I think, 400 miles long, or kilometers, at least kilometers long and wide. A, a gigantic, as if cube, a city. 
I want you to, Jewish brothers and sisters, understand that you need to understand how many wonderful, amazing things you are about to inherit if you just lower yourself in meekness and humbleness and lay and lay upon your uh, sit, lay, kneel, I should say, kneel upon your knees and repent of your sins, not just some of them, but all. So that the heart of your heart of stone can be turned into a heart of flesh, and you must pray for it that, that 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 your heart will be softened up. That even if you think your heart is soft, still pray for it. Don't be silly. Pray for it. Do you understand? You want to receive the best of the best that He has to offer to for you. Even if you think you're not a sinner, please, please, I'm telling you, ask and you shall receive. Ask and you shall be. In, excuse me, I have to put the charge in it. It shall be given to you. Because, brothers and sisters, the enemy is coming to kill, steal, and destroy. And I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want you to fall in your judgments. Many may die for the testimony of Christ Jesus. But if you are a Jew, you deserve you deserve to know what is your inheritance. And I am here to help you with that. So whether you are new to this covenant or whether you are of the Jewish bloodline or whether you are Gentile, whoever you are, please come here to this channel and learn to what is what are your basic rights under the new covenant because as I'm going to be teaching the Jews all over again who is their beloved, their savior, their Mashiach, that, that yes, we are first and foremost responsible, each one of us, for our own sins. But I'm sure many of you have been led by the Ruach HaKodesh, the Holy Spirit, whether Jew or Gentile, that you've, you were led to repentance for, you know, our Messiah who was betrayed by the Jews, that he was denied by the Jews then, by some of our Jewish ancestors. And I, I, I just simply, you know, I, I, after I read the story about Messiah Shwamasha, I'm going to be honest with you, brethren. I was led to that type of repentance. I just didn't want to, I said, in case if there is any, and I, since then I know for sure there's lots of Jew in me. Let's just say that. Praise be to Yeshua Jesus. That you, my brothers and sisters, need to understand. Holy Spirit will guide us for the things that we need to repent for. That just because you repented initially and yes, for the gift of the Holy Spirit, your repentance may not be over that day. This is why this is a process as we're running a race, as we're learning who Messiah Yeshua HaMashiach is, because that's the most important thing. Holy Spirit, when you ask for the gift of the Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKodesh, Holy Spirit only talks about Jesus. Holy Spirit only glorifies Yeshua HaMashiach. Those are, by the way, two separate individual teachings, precepts. I think in the book of John that is. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit's job. It is our advocate. While Yeshua HaMashiach spiritually is our intercessor with our Heavenly Holy Father. Who when he died on the cross for our sins and the sins of the world. When we repent of our sins. Those sins are washed away. Our Heavenly Holy Father forgets all of our sins. Everything we've done. We start as if from scratch with him. Do you understand? Yes, you will make a mistake, the so-called sin here and there, but at least you are from now on under covenant of grace. Nobody under covenant of grace, due to how much you love Jesus, you will, you will never sin again. You will never sin uh, purposely. So that's the overall teaching. But will we make mistake? I said, for example, saying a bad word. Did I say it on purpose? No, but I slipped. I rarely ever say it, but in God's eyes, Abba Father's eyes, or Yeshua's eyes, who is the God in the flesh of this earth, who created us, right? Because he's the word of God. When Abba Father speaks, it means Yeshua is the word of Yahweh. When Abba Father speaks, Yeshua, we hear Yeshua. Whether uh, when he spoke to Moses, that was Yesh the word of God. Yeshua giving Moses ten commandments. The great I am. Jesus says in the, in the gospel, right before Moses, there I was, the great I am. That's another spiritual title, meaning he is the God Almighty in the human body um, on earth. He dwelled among us, at one, uh, among our ancestors, I should say, for some of us. Some of our ancestors have seen him in the flesh. Some of our ancestors have embraced him and followed him then and never stopped. And those are our bloodlines. While some other of our ancestors rebelled against him right then and then and denied him a few weeks later, months later, bleh, three years later at the crucifixion. But remember, no matter what, that it was supposed to be this way. It was supposed to be this way. 
because someone someone from the heavenly kingdom needed to do who was pure faithful true a perfection of obedience to our heavenly holy father had to die on a cross for our sins and the sins of the world and that someone became god himself in the flesh yeshua hamashiach he was born out of an immaculate conception meaning ruach hakodesh came down and caused a miracle in mary's womb who was she was a virgin archangel gabriel announced the miracle to her that she was chosen by Yahweh, I praise you, Yahweh, to for this great privilege to deliver the Son, the only begotten Son of Yahweh, uh, 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 onto the earth uh, as a man. But he was already, when he was born, he was already, he was fully human and fully man. When he was crucified on the cross, dear brothers and sisters, his blood dripped down. And when Father shook the earth, that blood dripped down through the rocks uh, uh, onto the Ark of the Covenant that was hidden there a few hundreds of years prior. And that blood was later on recently in our days now to which uh, a person named Ron Wyatt who excavated Israel for the Ark of the Covenant and, and for the Red Sea crossing and for the pillar uh, pillar of Moses when they crossed the Red Sea crossing, which is in, on the side of Saudi Arabia. All of that, brothers and sisters, has been, he was allowed to discover because he was led by, with the Heavenly Father, through his son Yeshua himself led Ron Wyatt to these amazing discoveries because when father called he Ron Wyatt, Mr. Ron Wyatt was the one and only person on earth that answered the call. So just as Abba Father today is calling many of you, come and repent of your sins so I can give you the best protection that you can receive. Yes, you will be tested in faith. Yes, many may turn against you and your family. And maybe even your own family may turn against you. But your soul, your spirit, your human body will be sealed for the great day of the Lord. So when he returns in a so-called rapture, the rescue mission of his own family members, which is anyone who chooses to follow our Heavenly Holy Father, Yahweh, I praise you, through His Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, who since then, since the crucifixion, was spiritually also uh, announced to us humanity, and it's in the scriptures, in a covenant, uh, in a gospel, in the book of Matthew, chapter 20, is it 28, 28, that He is the God of this earth. For when Yeshua speaks as the word of Yah, all His teachings are divine laws and precepts, orders, commands, suggested orders. For example, put on a full armor of Yahweh, meaning put on a full armor of God, which is in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, and that armor of God, when we put on from a helmet of salvation right on your head, breastplate of righteousness on upon our breast, front and back, under your armpits, that's a breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth. That's your holy conduct. You're, you're being truthful, honest. All of that, brothers and sisters, then you, you have you put on shoes, which is the readiness of the gospel. Now in the gospel, reading the gospel, the, the sword of this, the spirit, which is quoting the gospel, quoting everything Jesus was teaching. You want, whatever you should do right now after your repentance study the covenant study who jesus is in his suffering study what all of those things in the gospel mean because then your armor of yahuwah will work and your faith will be established upon that amazing powerful cornerstone that jesus hamashiach is himself in our lives that must be your con the cornerstone of your faith. That must be the, also the foundation. Those are two separate teachings, by the way, spiritual teachings and laws under new covenant that has been in existence for two thousands of years. May you remember that Yeshua HaMashiach must be the foundation and the cornerstone of your faith. Otherwise you will fail. If you're going to build your faith on lies, gibberish, uh, uh, analyzing Hebrew letters, this, Hebrew letters, there's numbers, gematria, all of that is there. Everything that Abba Father speaks, whether as him, as a spirit, I repeat, either way, you're still hearing Jesus Christ of Nazareth, because Jesus Christ, Yeshua, Hamashiach, is the word of Yah. When we hear uh, Yeshua speaking through David, that, that was the Holy Spirit speaking through David. 
David, often when he was lamenting, even he lamented, uh, he wrote as a woman. Was David a woman? Obviously not. Who is he speaking as? He's speaking as wisdom. Wisdom is a tree of life, but also the whole Ruach HaKodesh is a tree of life, which leads on to so many other amazing teachings. Abba Father is doing a new thing, brothers and sisters, and he is placing a woman back in the Garden of Eden, so to speak. That a woman, as it is written in the book of Jeremiah, will be doing a man's, well, responsibilities, so to speak, deeds, actions. And that will be, that woman, that will be a type of a, um, she will introduce her beloved. Yeshua HaMashiach onto the Jews that will be willing to listen to the covenant. She is also uh, she is an oath, a, a end of day sign onto Gentile nations, a, a reflection of who Yeshua HaMashiach is already. And she is a spiritual reflection of who our Messiah is. But all of that is unimportant. I'm here to simply remind you, Jewish brothers and sisters. This is the time uh, of the end of days. We know who the Antichrist is. It's King Charles III. That has been announced already. Praise be to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. King Charles III has been anointed and crowned, or I should say recrowned by, by the beast, the Pope. And remember that the false prophet, brothers and sisters, it, it, well, well, you know, Rav Shlomo Yehuda, everybody thought is the Jewish Messiah and maybe he is... Um, a Yahuwah's chosen one, but he's not. Yeshua wasn't just a man, brothers and sisters. When Ron, going back now to the topic of Mr. Ron Wyatt, um, you need to understand that we have Yeshua's blood that we took off. He took off of the Ark of the Covenant and three countries in, in, on earth currently today possess those analysis. And the analysis shows that he only had 20 24 chromosomes, 23 from a mother, human mother, and one supernatural Y chromosome from Abba, Heavenly Holy Father. Hallelujah. Praise be to Yahweh. Praise be to Yeshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. Amen. That means, brothers and sisters, that as we are about to face two witnesses testifying and judging any and all evil on earth, as they will be addressing the church and all its spiritual leaders, particularly the fake one, the false one, I presume they will be judged by those people. And many Christians who have been following, you know, Yeshua with each itching, so to speak, you know, ears where, where they're listening, um, upon these topics of, you know, rapture this, rapture that, I have to tell you something. Um, as I explained to you early on at the beginning of this video, think about this for a moment. W would Yeshua returning for us Gentiles, would he abandon, who's going to harvest the Jews? Who will go harvest the Jewish brothers and sisters? Let's be honest. Is he going to re -break, break us off the tip of the branches, us Gentiles off the top of the branches, and, and just take us but not them? Because uh, only a small number of Israeli brethren is awakened? We have to, brothers and sisters, pray for the Jews to be awakened so that we can get out of here as fast as we can. And that's the truth. And our church, our churches, our, our leaders are not praying for the Jews to be awakened. And if they're praying, that's beautiful, that's wonderful. But what I'm saying is we have to unite in the Holy Spirit, praying not only for the two witnesses that, that, that are about to come up upon, this, upon the spiritual scene here of the earth, who will tell us what our Heavenly Holy Father is, Yeshua HaMashiach, who is the God of this earth. Uh, uh, judgments are that we have to keep and of course all of them will be in perfect perfect order with our already existing new covenant called the law of faith which is all about the law of the spirit don't pay attention to how the enemy mocks me don't pay attention to to how i look on certain days when i look so run down from stress from the abuse because the messages that i'm delivering to you majority of the time is pure gold even when i mispronounce things or don't say them properly they are pure gold and they will save you learn from my mistakes beloved brothers and sisters so before i'm gonna go back to any other message the message of today is the holy spirit led me to book of numbers chapter 
35 and within it not only uh, uh, towards the end of the uh, book of numbers chapter 35 before the fifth book of moses called deuteronomy um, begins i want you to brothers and sisters understand that that's where the inheritance uh, in a torah is discussed so heavenly holy father is reminding us that we must keep our eyes on Jesus Christ of Nazareth at all times as we're experiencing hardships, as we're experiencing pain and stressful times and days, that you must not waver in your faith because if your spiritual house is established on the solid foundation of you, meaning Yeshua Mashiach himself, uh, 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 even a demonic physical attack, which should not happen to begin with, I repeat, the enemy cannot us to touch us, but, but, Yeshua forbid, if it does, don't let that ever shake you. Don't let that ever shake you to the core. Don't let, don't let that discourage you from who you are and what is yours. You hear me? You gotta have, th you gotta be wise as a serpent, but gentle as a dove. You gotta listen to wisdom. So by the way, if you haven't asked for a gift of wisdom, Again, ask today, right now, right now, for that gift of wisdom, and she will join you, my brothers and sisters, because you gotta have wisdom to outsmart that wicked serpent. You gotta have God's type of a serpent wisdom, which, if you wanna study ever who wisdom is, you know, go read the book of Proverbs. Proverbs, it's a, one of the seven spirit of our heavenly Holy Father, and it's a she. By wisdom, this earth was created. And she was there, there from the beginning, in the, from the early works, in the, as early works, creation of our Heavenly Holy Father. I believe that's the, also the eldest soul, the oldest eldest soul in this, not just here on earth, but overall in the, in the universe. However big, however small it is, we all know we are under the firmament. So the point is, brothers and sisters, that reminds me, believe in a true story of Abba Father's creation. Believe in all the things he wrote about, whether you're Gentile, whether you're Jew, whether you're poor, you're rich, man, woman, no matter who you are. Remember that you, you must, during the, the times of any stress, affliction, um, sorrow, that's what the wicked want to force upon us is sorrow and bitterness. This is why you, 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 you see them wearing the, these, these uh, poppy, uh, red poppy flower, where the poppy seeds that turns later into poppy seeds. That, 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 that's called in he, uh, in Greek, it's called makov. It represents sorrow. I pray against that symbolism uh, to be used against us as lesser witchcraft or any kind of witchcraft. So you have to understand that, that who wears that, those are, they're telling you what they all are. And, um, you know, we don't believe in lesser witchcraft. We don't believe in any kind of witchcraft because greater is he who dwells within you than the wonders of this world. But witchcraft, uh, of course, um, you know, to them is very real. And maybe to a lot of you, you've been affected by it. But remember, give it no power, give it no thought. Greater is He, meaning Christ's Spirit, Yeshua Hamashiach's Spirit, the Holy Spirit, Abba Father's Spirit is also the Holy Spirit who dwells in your head, who dwells in your heart, who only talks about Yeshua HaMashiach, who only glorifies Yeshua HaMashiach, who, yes, also in another teaching, right, in the book of Matthew, chapter 28, we know that Yeshua is what? Quiet, gentle, meek, and humble, just as His Spirit, He says. So remember, that's who the Holy Spirit is, gentle, quiet, meek, and humble. But it can be firm. So don't confuse firmness, sturdy message with hatred or bitterness. Because if you, that means that we, ha, uh, you ha, we have to ask for, for correction and guidance as often as, you re, as we remember and we have to take it. Then expect it to receive it. And you have to correct your behavior. First and foremost, Father usually starts to correct our uh, Romans 12, verse 2, uh, Romans 12, verse 2, change the way we think. He changes the way we think, right? Ask Heavenly Holy Father the way you think. 
Ask Heavenly Holy Father to turn you into a new person by changing the way you think. Beloved brothers and sisters, that's basically what it says. In Romans chapter 12, verse 2, Yeshua told us to do because He will correct our early in the beginning of this race because we all must run a race, which means what? You must finish the race. To be, to receive the inheritance, you have to finish the race. Do you know that? Or when we're leaving this, this country, this country, this country, whether Exodus or whether we'll go in a so-called rescue mission, you must at all times Pray for the best. If pray, pray for the best and hope for the best. Expect the best, but prepare for the worst. Prepare for the worst. So that the, when the storms come, when the storms will come, and sometimes one after another, that you're not gonna waver in faith, that you're gonna stand firm in your faith. Proclaiming the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua Mashiach, as your Lord, as your Savior, as your Messiah, putting on a full armor of Yahuwah in accordance to Ephesians chapter 6. Like, like, like you put on clothes, brothers and sisters, you got to put it on upon yourself. If you attacked a lot, then, then repent of your sins and then put on a full armor of God. And be ready to quote verses. You don't know what to quote? Ask the Holy Spirit for help. This is why Holy Spirit is inside of us to help us. In spiritual warfare, Holy Spirit is not subject to no witch, to no warlock, to no demon, to no Satan, to no nobody. I don't care how high their demonic rank is. Holy Spirit is at the level of a creator spirit. Creator. Jesus is a creator. The word of God, Yeshua HaMashiach, is his spiritual title. Jesus Christus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We all must confess to one another Jesus Christ is Lord. Yeshua HaMashiach is Lord. Yeshua HaMashiach is Yahweh in the flesh, which means, beloved brothers and sisters, that you are His true followers, believers, that the Holy Spirit is in you. Yeshua HaMashiach is come in the flesh, is another way to test the Spirit that's giving you, that's giving you a dream and or a vision that you must command for them, a test that Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, was teaching in the first book of John, chapter 4, verses 1. Two, three. You must say, Spirit, I command you in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach to repeat after me out loud. Yeshua HaMashiach is come in the flesh. And if you hear silence, that's the spirit of Antichrist. So don't make excuses. How wonderful you are. Oh, I was on a trip to heaven. No, the only one who went to heaven, Yeshua said it was him. The only one who went to heaven is Yeshua HaMashiach and nobody else. That precept is a divine law. Precept is a divine law. Will never change. That will not be changed or altered for nothing and no one. The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And some enemies, some people have been visited by the enemy, by, by fallen angels posing as holy angels, which is very hard to do overall. But people tell those stories. So I hope certainly that those stories were fake. I pray that you will never have to face not a fallen angel, not a witch, not a world, not a wizard. But remember, if it happens, fear not, because you have been given power and authority over all spirits on this earth and over all the power of the enemy, so nothing shall by any means hurt you. So rejoice not that all spirits are subject unto you, Jesus told us, right? But rejoice that your names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Because your name has to be remain in the Lamb's Book of Life so that you, you will, Father Yahuwah, Yeshua Hamashiach, will not blot out your name from the Lamb's Book of Life because of your faithlessness, because of your worry, how you're going to live, what you're going to eat. All of Seek the kingdom of heaven first, Yeshua said, and everything else will be added on to you. His children also, he said, even through King David, will never be out on the street begging for food. So on our worst days, brothers and sisters, our Heavenly Holy Father, Yeshua HaMashiach, promised us, even through King David, we will never be begging out, we will never be out on the street begging for food. We will be provided for. On our worst day and best day, we are at least promised water and, br and bread. And that's all we need. There will be supernatural provisions and multiplications, but that means that we have to do everything we can, beloved brothers and sisters, to hear Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit who I repeat only talks about Yeshua HaMashiach and who only glorifies our beloved Savior Yeshua HaMashiach. 
So beware of false prophets and false teachers because if you will participate in their wicked, evil deeds and you're gonna give them your heart, your attention, and you're gonna follow them and support them financially and mentally, you know, spiritually, spiritually, remember, remember, you're gonna partake in their judgments. Yeshua promised says that. Abba Father, under old covenants, all throughout the book of Isaiah, it's through the minor prophets, read all the prophecies for the Babylon, Joel, Habakkuk, for Israel, read it. Read the Psalms when the, even David described the unification, ex, not only the great exodus, but also, but also the unification of the, two, of the two houses, house of Israel, the house of Jacob, brothers and sisters. In the end of days, it doesn't, right now, it doesn't matter whether you are a man or a woman, rich or poor. It doesn't matter whether Jew or the so-called Gentile Greek. He, if you are honest, you will repent and you love Jesus. You're going to come, you're going to get on your knees. You will repent of your sins and he will come into your life. He will place that, he will give you his seal and his spirit, which is the most precious gift that we as humanity could have ever received. We are saved by grace. That's the free gift of grace, Holy Spirit, God's mercy also and forgiveness. Again, Ephesians, book of Ephesians under New Covenant, Jewish brethren, and anyone listening says, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, verses 8 to 9 says, For by grace we are saved through faith. For by grace we are saved through faith. So study what that grace is. Study what faith is so that you can pray and grow in faith as Father Yahuwah through Yeshua HaMashiach will test us. The Holy Spirit's job will be to keep us no matter through all those testings and trials on the narrow path, so to speak. As we run in this race, that means, I repeat, you must finish the race. You must reach the finish line. You must reach the meta, meta, finish line. Meta in Greek means finished line so that you can partake in the inheritance promise to all the children of the Most High Yah, so that you can come forth as Christ Jesus also was tested and tried when Yeshua first received the gift of the Holy Spirit. He was taken into wilderness, brothers and sisters. He was taken into wilderness. He wasn't parading, uh, performing miracles, do as thou will, whatever, whatever, as God the Creator's Son and, and Himself being God in the flesh, right? He didn't do that. He wasn't boasting. He kept his mouth quiet regarding who he was as he continued on his teachings, continued on his teachings, but at the same time, he was showing he's the Creator. You must do the same. As you grow in faith stronger and mightier, don't boast I'm this and I'm that and I'm finding out Bible codes and I, you, you know, first of all, why are you seeking Bible codes on your own self? For what? For what? If you're doing a Bible code just for the record, please know, brothers and sisters, no matter who you are, your name will be there because you're doing the Bible code and Father has honored you in a wonderful, beautiful way that you are the first one to ever on earth ever to publish that particular code and release this information to your brethren. Keep your rank secret. It is very evident who is the true light of the Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach. It is very evident who has their lamps, sort of speak, filled with oil. We, as Jesus told us, of wise and foolish virgins in one of his parables, his sayings, and he said, that those who will be meek and humble only will what? Hear, hear, Abba Father, hear Yeshua HaMashiach, who will hear, therefore you will hear not only his teachings, and therefore what? Obey his teachings, but that you will be also not ashamed of the Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach, and all his teachings, that you will go after your brothers and sisters, that you will save your brothers and sisters, that you will save them, so that Yeshua HaMashiach and our Heavenly Holy Father can be glorified in heaven, and and, and that as, as, as Holy Spirit will help us do good deeds for other brothers and sisters, which is also our white gowns. Did you know that our good deeds, good works? Our, our white, is our white linen for the saints? It's in the book of Revelation. 
So be generous, brothers and sisters, whatever you can afford, but be generous with your affection, be generous with your love. Don't, if somebody's trying to take you out of your square, so to speak, forgive me, if somebody's trying to be wicked towards you, don't worry, brothers and sisters. Don't worry about who they are, what they've done to you. They're trying to, they're mad because you are so powerful, because you are strong in faith, because you are growing in faith every single day, and the devil cannot derail you from your from where you already have arrived and you're going to continue on running this race as you will continue on climbing spiritually dedicating every single bit of your time to Yeshua HaMashiach and spending time with him and seeking him by reading scriptures particularly right now the new covenant because the new covenant is where our Jewish brethren have to be introduced to and if you are already Jewish and you listen to that this is what you have to dwell in the new covenant the old covenant was nailed to the cross with the record of our sins for eternity you we cannot mix covenants because by mixing covenants that not that 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 in the book of Romans chapter 4 Yeshua explains then the promise is also likewise then void and nullified we have to be aware of all these if you are gonna decide that you're gonna be with Jesus and you ask for you repent of your sins and you ask for the seal of the Holy Spirit remember then the Holy Spirit as Holy Spirit did with Yeshua Jesus Christ of Nazareth will take you on some tests and trials where Holy Spirit will remain in us your Holy Spirit will be here but what what happened with Jesus do you remember what happened those of you who read the story Yeshua uh, as even the only begotten son of Yahuwah and we are no different. Remember, Jesus told us in his, one of his teachings, giving that God is the clay. Jesus is the clay, right? The God, the creator, the, and the creator's son is the clay. We are the, he, excuse me, we are the clay, the children of God, and he is the potter. Yeshua is the potter. Yeshua said, the clay will never outgrow the potter. Forgive me for that mistake. The clay will never outgrow the potter. Right? So we have to work every day on, on, on making sure that we, no matter what, the most important thing is that we have to understand that you will be tested and tried for your faith as Yeshua was tested and tried for his faith in Abba Father. And Satan was allowed to test Yeshua three times, three times. So will you be tested and tried, beloved brothers and sisters, because we are no different than Jesus. We are no better than, than, than so, that, you know, someone. And because if you are not tested and tried, if you are not corrected by Father, Father, our Father says, as Yeshua says, those whom I love, I chastise, I correct. Otherwise, you, if you, if you say, well, I've never been corrected, I'm just so perfect, my beloved, it's most likely because you haven't heard any corrections that Yeshua or Heavenly Holy Father has been sending your way and I say this in love please ask today for correction and what else you should do because we until we are on this earth we will never be so to speak like oh I've arrived and we're, we, you know we're, we're done with everything we're doing and you don't have that you 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 can rest in Jesus and have peace every single day because he gives us peace not like this world gives us peace but like he gives us peace which is a supernatural sort of speak awesome piece it is remember brothers and sisters about following him in truth and in spirit you will make mistakes you will sin here and there but remember overall it from now on you are as if an ambassador to Yeshua HaMashiach to God Yahweh also you are an ambassador to him and Yeshua will confess your name to our Heavenly Holy Father and in front of uh, the Father and His angels so that you my brothers and sisters so that your name will never be blotted out of the Lamb's Book of Life and so that you can so that you can when the rapture comes Harpazo you will be raptured out of him and even before then you can receive the so-called Jesus told us all of us about the so-called letter rain which is where people become who have been uh, following Jesus in truth and in spirit in meekness and humbleness we will be covered by the letter rain which is which is many things like Jesus was healing raising people from from the dead um, uh, you know we are gonna be doing the same things and even grand grand grandier mightier works Yeshua said himself we will be doing praise be to Jesus because 
we are in the end of days and that's what Yeshua said so that's what will happen but a latter rain will come not just to all the children you have to brothers and sisters understand you can't just sit at home do nothing and hope that oh just one day you wake up and you will have supernatural abilities you know top to bottom for doing nothing that's not how this works Beloved brothers and sisters, Yeshua loves us all the same, whether Jew or Gentile, whether rich or poor, whether man or woman, whether slave or free. So study who Jesus is in his suffering. Study then the new covenant, then finally Holy Spirit, or as the need arises, Holy Spirit will guide you, brothers and sisters, onto all that information, and you will be always on the narrow path. Go Every day study something. Every day ask for your daily lessons by quoting a prayer of Matthew chapter 6 verses 9 to 13. The prayer that Yeshua, uh, Abba Father taught, taught Yeshua to teach us. And that's the prayer of our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Please give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And say Amen at the end of your prayers. Address Abba Father as Holy Father under New Covenant. And Yeshua HaMashiach, remember his name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Use Jesus Christ of Nazareth along with Yeshua HaMashiach so that brethren can hear it. If you're Jew, just Yeshua HaMashiach obviously is the name above all names. Wise Virgin uses the Hebrew spiritual name title for Yeshua HaMashiach and our Heavenly Holy Father. But remember, Ten Commandments are never were done and away with, it, so to speak, um, uh, with the Old Covenant they're still very much so um, you know uh, we obey Ten Commandments under new covenant called the law of faith Romans 327 which is all about the law of the Spirit Romans 8 1 the Holy Spirit Abba Father is the Spirit who has mercy upon us and forgives us uh, and who gave us a spirit of grace which is the Holy Spirit so let's unite together through the precious presence of the power of the Holy Spirit inside of us. Let's test the spirits at all times. Again, that was God's command in accordance to the first book of John, chapter 4, verse 1 to 3. And remember, Yeshua said, Blessed are all of those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Matthew 5, 4, NIV. Yahuwah blesses you who weep now, for in due time you will laugh. Luke 6, 21, NLT. We must pray, brothers and sisters. Today's warning is as follows. You're not sleeping lately very well. Remember, quote verses for sleeping, which is Psalm 127, verse 2, Psalm 3, 5, Psalm 4, 8. For example, Psalm 4, 8, Yeshua, if through David, excuse me, the word of Yahweh, uh, I should say through the Holy Spirit, it was said, I will both lie down in peace and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Uh, 127 verse 2 it should say something to the effect for God gives sleep to his beloved and you are his beloved I am his beloved so your beloved wants to give you sleep brothers and sisters remember if Yeshua HaMashiach Abba says today we have peace with Abba Father because through Christ Jesus Yeshua HaMashiach because in this grace we stand as it is written about in the book of Romans chapter 5 the book of Romans is, uh, all books are equally important, but book of Romans is particularly significant to understand what are the basics of our covenant called the law of faith, which is all about, I repeat, the law of the spirit. Because that old covenant called the law of sin, the law of death, I repeat, has been nailed to the cross for eternity with the record of our sins. Don't ever rehash your sins. I love you, my brothers and sisters. The message of today is please pray against depression, sadness, and pray for safety. Pray against sexual perversions. And I repeat, pray for safety. Pray for safety of your houses, children, properties, your farm, your farm life, your pets, um, unborn life, and the safety of Israel, Jerusalem. And for our Jewish brothers and sisters, the two witnesses, the seven angels of the seven churches, Partoki angel of the Church of Philadelphia, angel of the Church of Smyrna, angel of the Church of Laodicea. Those are the three uh, already quite suffering angels, particularly angel of the Church of Philadelphia. Pray for them from the, and their families because they're normal human 
uh, people with angelic souls with normal human life and families and children and they're being heavily heavily attacked to pass on these messages on to you and um, anything I teach you and when I tell you that there's a Bible code supporting my teaching it's because Abba Father is establishing some of us as prophets to the nation as the delivers messengers of his me the, um, judgments and partic very particular messages so when I show you something that I've discussed something and or something then is uh, appears as a, a scriptural Bible code I repeat all scriptures were spoken by Yeshua HaMashiach the so-called words plural words of Yahuwah that's Yeshua HaMashiach either speaking directly as God or as the Word of God and or as uh, through the Holy Spirit so either way there are perfection so Jewish brothers and sisters please stay away from the gematria yes if you look into gematria um, you know that it will be a perfection again this is why that's where scriptural Bible codes come in all of you rabbis out there please don't lie to your brothers and to your to your brother and don't lie to the children tell them to go read the new covenant and they must do exactly as Yahuwah commanded through his son Yeshua HaMashiach or you will fall and you will go under Satan's and Antichrist beast system leadership and rule and you will fall for every single thing they are they are offering because you will not recognize any warning signs that are already I repeat you need to obey now because you cannot take anything f uh, from them well not take from them you cannot take one very particular thing from them that in order so that you could buy food you cannot participate in that because that is the mark of the beast and you cannot participate take that or you will be for eternally lost for eternity so Jewish brothers and sisters beware remember Israel is on the forefront of this climate climate change um, COP 28 uh, movement and meetings are gonna take place between November and December I made a video about this but it was too long I cut it down but I'm gonna make a video and the person that I recommend today for you who are Jewish look up a YouTube channel called Messiah song for um, greater things of Jesus Christ Yeshua HaMashiach has greater things higher things of Yeshua HaMashiach if you want to know and understand Messiah song is also a wonderful channel to understand all the things here I already taught like that not everything she does way more way more beautifully than me I specialize I'm an expert in slightly different things but we overlay um, some of the teachings and she is beautiful woman of the Most High Yahuwah and she is a Jew she is a beautiful Jewish woman directly from Israel so those of you who are Jews or even a non-Jew I highly recommend the Messiah song <laughs> I gotta go I'll talk to you later bye